hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video I just want to show you how to launch our automation script in incognito window of Google Chrome so here I have already written some script to launch a website called Zoopla in normal browser and it will perform the validations for comparing the title here I have an assertion with this title and along with that it will perform one search operation with the help of a keyword London based on that we'll get the results in our web browser so first we'll run this Now the execution is started and it opened a Chrome browser and with and launched my desired website and it performed the search operation as well with the word as London. So here I can see the property for sale in London which shows the properties that are available in London. Okay, so now it is launched in a normal Chrome browser. So I just want to open my website in the incognito mode so for launching any website in incognito mode so we have one class called chrome options that helps to launch our code in the incognito of chrome so for that here first we need to write the chrome options class in the code before the instantiation of the web driver so for that first we will write the script so like chrome options so options equals to new chrome options so this is the class that helps to launch the website and it can perform many other operations like disabling the pop-ups, disabling the windows pop-up and disabling the ads and many things we can perform with the help of these chrome options. So now we got some error. So just hover over this chrome options and we need to import these chrome options which are available under the selenium chrome package. Okay. So now the error is gone. So next step is so we need to use this options reference so just put the dot and we can see some suggestions like add arguments so just select this add arguments and here we need to pass some arguments so in here for launching the website in incognito mode we need to pass pass the argument as incognito for suppose if you want to perform other operations like uh, finding the version of the chrome we need to use this chrome options as well in that case we need to mention as version in the arguments field okay so now as we want to open our code in incognito mode so i am using this argument and in the same way for disabling the pop-ups or disabling the ads so that one also we need to use the chrome options that time so here we need to add the arguments are relevant to the disabling the ads or the content okay so in the next step what we need to do is this reference which is nothing but the options that is the reference of the chrome options we need to keep inside the chrome driver so like this we need to place the options so that's it so this code these two steps and these third changes these three changes are enough to our existing code to launch our website inside the incognito mode okay so let's run this now so my website is already opened in incognito mode so i will just close this now i don't have any active sessions related to the chrome so let's run the code now So you can see incognito is opened and here my website zoopla.co.uk is open and it will accept the cookies and it will search for the word as London and here you can see the same results which I have seen earlier is displaying in incognito mode as well. So like this we can use this chrome options to launch our 
website in incognito mode okay so here in your in the console we got some message so that is nothing but the title of the home page of this website so here so now it is in the search results so if you go back you can see the title as Zoopla search property to buy rent house prices and estates so same one we can see here in the console so here our validation is also passed that's why we don't have any error and everything is open as expected in incognito mode so that's all about this video i hope you like the video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to our channel